Hey everyone, it's Succulents Box here. Today we're going to talk about succulent edema. Succulents as well as houseplants are prone to several complications due to different reasons, including pests and disease, incorrect watering, and scorching sun. Succulent edema is not an exception. If you notice unsightly issues like dark spots or corky bumps, you may be dealing with succulent edema. So what exactly is succulent edema? It's a fatal for your plant. How do you prevent and treat it? Keep on watching. Edema is not a disease, but a condition of abnormal water retention that affects many plants, including succulents. The condition isn't caused by any type of bug or infection, but by an imbalance of the plant's transpiration process. This process of water that contains oxygen and nutrients moving from the roots to every part of the plant and finally being released through the leaves and stem. When your succulent takes in too much water, the transpiration may cause unusual water withholding, resulting in small, palpable-like spots or clusters of spots. The leaves may become either lighter or darker than the succulent's typical leaf color. The excess water causes cells in the leaf to rupture, and the signature welts are cells that have broken from oversaturation. Although the spots won't spread and aren't harmful to the plant, they can affect how your succulent looks and are a sure sign that your plant is getting too much water. Now you know what succulent edema is, look out for its symptoms. First check your water-soaked spots. These spots appear in the early stage of edema and then rise from the leaf to create light pimple-like growths on the succulent. Over time, these bumps will swell and rupture and they may appear white or powdery or rust-colored. In succulents, rusty coloration around the ruptured cells is most common. These areas will then callus over and look similar to scabs on the plant. In succulents with woody stems, you may also spot uneven, corky ridges along the stem or swelling near the stem and leaves. Edema marks are permanent scars and won't fade. It's best to take some preventative measures so edema won't visit your plant. Next, we will share with you some tips to prevent edema. While these tips aren't a perfect guarantee to keeping your succulents edema free, they'll still lower the risk of developing edema and overwatering symptoms. The first and probably most important thing to prevent edema is to optimize drainage. Good draining soil pots are essential for cactus and succulents. You can buy commercial cactus potting soils or mix your own. We recommend using peat moss or compost as your organic material for succulents and perlite, gravel, and a little sand as your inorganic material. The organic matter provides nutrients, while inorganic parts improve drainage and alter the overall texture of the soil. Moreover, choose pots with drainage holes and made from porous materials like concrete, terracotta, or ceramic. These materials retain less water than a glass or metal pot. Another important thing you'll need to do is to monitor the soil's moisture content daily and only water when the soil is completely dry. This is an easy way to avoid overwatering your succulents. Simply put your finger or a moisture meter deep into the pot. When you pull out your finger, it should be dry. For a moisture meter, the meter should read between 1 and 3 to show your soil is dry. Our last advice for you is to use the bottom water method to ensure that your succulent is only drinking as much as it needs. This method is done by dipping your succulent into a tub of water and letting it drink for about 10 minutes. Then, set the succulent out to dry and drain for a few hours before putting it back into its spot. That's how to prevent edema. Now let's see what we can do to treat this condition. If your succulent has edema, there are still several things you can do to help it recover over time. First, check your plant to see if it has been draining well. Follow the preventative measures above. Second, increase the amount of light your succulent receives. They'll absorb and use the water faster in bright, indirect sunlight. The third way to treat edema is to check your plant's nutrients level. You can get a soil test and ask for advice from your local agriculture center. Minerals like potassium, magnesium, and calcium are essential for photosynthesis and directly affect water retention and absorption. If your succulents aren't receiving enough nutrients, add some fertilizer or compost to their soil during the growing season to increase their nutrient intake. That's all for today's video everyone. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave us a like and hit that subscribe button for more content. If you have any questions or recommendations, don't hesitate to leave your comment in the comment section below. See you in the next video. 
For more, you can find us at succulentsbox.com or on YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest.